Hello, hello everyone, welcome. Today we're gonna to have a look at writing markup with JSX in React. So again, I'm using the uh, better version of the React docs, so that's beta.reactjs.org. So feel free to check them out. And we're just under the learn section, under describing the UI, and we're here at writing markup with JSX. So JSX, for those of you that don't know what it is, sounds scary, I know, I know, but it's not. Um, you can read all about this here. I'm not very good at reading, so I'm going to scroll. <laughs> uh, but basically, uh, there's a couple of differences when you're using JSX. We're basically just putting our HTML into JavaScript. And, um, and there's some kind of different rules. We just have to be aware of those. So if you had something like this as you know, just your basic HTML that you might write like this, if you were to put that in the return statement of your component, of the to-do list component here, um, copy and paste it, and it's just going to break. Right? And you're going to have all these errors. You go, ah, oh, what am I doing? So this is just basically something that you have to understand. You could read all these um, and start correcting them. Um, it's really good to actually understand these. So let's try and read these errors and see if we can actually figure out what's going on. So it says, the JSX elements must be wrapped in an enclosing tag. Did you write, did you want a JSX fragment? OK, so must be wrapped. We have all these, and they must be wrapped in one. So, you know, we can just basically put a fragment. So that's like an empty kind of div without like actually showing any uh, HTML. So we got that and that's cool. Now we've got a new error to fix. Expected the corresponding JSX closing tag for an LI. So let's just move that over there. So for the LI, okay, so let's close our LIs. One, two, and the last one here. And there we go. Aha! Now it's saying an unterminate JSX contents. But this is okay because, you know, this is matching line four and that's what we wanted. But let's have a look. H1 is closed. Image is not closed. And we need to close everything. And ba -da! we did it. So you see just a little bit of like minor tweaks in there and we can get our JSX working. So if, if it's screaming at you with errors, just kind of read through them. It's helping you. It's going to tell you. And basically that's that's it. So remember, return a single root element. You can put a div in there or you can put a fragment. Both are fine. Um, close all your tags. Got to close our image. We got to close our LI. Camel case, almost all of the things. So class name equals photo. I don't think we did this up here. We can go back and check. Did we need to look this? Yeah, you see, we didn't do this, but we should have done that, right? And that would give us the proper class name. There's probably no styles there. If there was, then that would have uh, made a difference. Okay, what else? Uh, close all the tags. Camel case, almost all of it. So just remember area and data um, attributes are not camel cased, but uh, the class name, this is really important and something you'll come across a lot. So make sure you put class name and not class. Because uh, class is a reserved word in JavaScript, so we need to use class name. Uh, and you can use the JSX converter if you want. Um, we got this working, so that's cool. We've already done that. And try out the challenge. So again, we've already done one, so this should be super easy. Let's see if we can get this one working. Okay, so remember the first thing we said is we got to wrap it in a fragment or a div. So let's wrap it in a fragment. And uh, just put you over there to see it look nicer. Kula Bula. And now we've got um, a couple of messages here. So let's read our messages. Um, expect the corresponding JSX closing tags for I. Now this is interesting, right? Because I have the I and I have the I and it's closing, but there's a B inside the I. So we need to make sure they're in the right place. So we need to close our I before our B, our italics before our bold. Okay, cool. So now we've got um, expected corresponding JSX closing tag for the BR. Okay, that's fine. So we can we can close you. We can close you. Ba -bam. And there we go. <laughs> so um, that wasn't that difficult. Um, we can do a class name. This might crash in your real. This didn't crash here. This worked for us, but it probably won't work in real life. So make sure you put in class name. Um, and that's it, it's all working. And let's have a look, show our solution. And da-da, perfect. So yeah, take a read through that and start cr uh, creating more JSX in your markup. Um, we'll be back in the next one with JavaScript and JSX with curly braces. See you then.